Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we came here to this strange house in New Orleans to see this fellow, Black Pharaoh. So, let's get into it, shall we? Find out what's going on here. Okay. It's a weird house. Why are they, why why have all these stairs? Okay. Oh, this this seems a little dodge. Okay. Jeremy. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective, but you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are. We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the dark man. No can't. We were trying to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. Well... How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Exactly. Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. I did, um... I did actually check back at Tarawea. I just reloaded my last save just to check that we hadn't left, like, left anything behind. And we didn't, so that's good. What's this? Uh... Okay. Is that the symbol for... What is that? I think that's Gemini and then, oh I don't know, Gemini and something. Okay. So, what's this then? Oh. Ha. Huh. Alright. Um. So this obviously has something to do with it. So we've got Gemini. Then what's that in the middle? Is that not Leo? Tor no, not Taurus. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Um, so. Wait a minute. Just, just, just a moment. This, this is what we need, don't we? Um, okay, so, so Gemini, one, two, three, four, so that would be five. So Gemini is five. Um, 
I think Gemini was at the top, so that that'd be the outer. So Gemini would be five. Um, then it was Pisces was on the outside, wasn't it? So that Pisces would be two. So Pisces is two. And then Scorpio. Scorpio is ten. Okay, so Scorpio is ten. All right, so let's just have a little little look, shall we? So it would be nice if we could actually see. Is this just a copy of it, do you suppose? So it would be 10 is the smallest. 10, 5, 2. 10, 5, 2. Let's try that with... So Scorpio is the smallest. Okay. Let's have a look. So at the middle... Is there a 10? Is that 10? Hmm... 5. No. There isn't a 10. Oh! 852? Did I miscount? What is that? So a chair with an eye. A chair with an eye. Okay. Uh, all right. Chair with an eye. Uh, they all have eyes. God bless it. But near here, this, near the burner. Oh, what? All right, let's let's go in then, I suppose. Oh, mm. oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh, I don't like this, man. How are we doing? Yeah, we're okay. We've got a weapon as well. We're armed with a fire poker. All right. cool though isn't it with the eclipse and everything so that's the temple all right um how do we get down from here is there a way is there a path we have to follow i assume ah yes here we go wow okay this is really taking a turn hasn't it Ugh. we're traveling all over the the well Places and time. Oh, there's sand in our boots. Look at this. Wow. Ooh, that's that's weird with the moon. Should we pick up this lamp? Can we take the lamp? No? A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Oh, okay. What, 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 what? How do we get down there, pray tell? Is there a means? Hmm. Is there maybe a rope nearby or something that we can use? Oh, oh, here we go. What's this? A camp. Anything here? we can use oh okay more bullets perfect beyond the Nile Valley the temple of Nephron Car lies under our camp despite all efforts that unholy sites do not collapse but sink beneath the sand the Pharaoh is long dead his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing but that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found. 
in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Hmm. So we have to channel the light, I think, by the looks of it. Okay. All right. And this is the rope that we need, obviously, to get down there. Brilliant. A length of rope, clearly. All right. All right. Mm. I mean, it's not exactly encouraging, but okay, so we can drop down now. I hope we're going to be careful about this, Eddie, for crying out loud. All right, all right, all right. What are you? What are you? What is it? Are they going to attack me? No. I wasted two bullets, man. Ugh. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so what do we, do we need to tie the rope off to something? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Oh. Here we go. All right, let's, let's go down then, Eddie. Be careful, dude. Ah. Oh no, the ropes snapped or something. Okay. Yeah. So this symbol on the floor. It's this the star constellation from yeah. one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. That one star's clearly bigger. Must be important. Alright, let's let's just have a look at this book. Um okay. So Oh, it isn't exactly the same. What does this do? I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Hmm. Can we go through these doors that are open? Or that have the lights? No. Okay. Oh, what's this? Something in here? A canopic jar. A lanyap. Awesome. We are doing quite well with the lanyaps, actually. the hell? Where is it? Where is it? Get... Ah, I see. Okay, so we need to basically get these, I think, all onto this one spot. Alright, well, well, and that should then open this. All right. <sighs> Bloody stupid bird things. Okay, what's 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 here? Yeah, what's this? Nothing. Maybe. Anything here now. Oh, this is not good, is it? Here, switch. What's this? The horizon key item. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. 
Hmm. Okay. Useful. Hmm. Maybe put that in there. And then do this. Okay, so do we have to... This one looks operation. That. It worked. Yep, there you go. Alright. Do we not need to do anything else with it? No. That's weird. Sorry, I thought I heard a, heard a noise. Look at all these things. Wow. Okay. Never thought we'd be um, doing some Lara Croft-esque stuff, but there you go. Okay, so there's up there, it's down there, and there's round this way. Well, we'll go this way first, I think. Or did it... Where is it? Oh god. Good god. Oh, How awful. Eddie, have a drink. Have a couple. Okay, I didn't really enjoy that. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Stupid, stupid bird things, whatever they are. What the hell are these things? Like bats that have gone nuts. Alright, so, so we need a... Hmm. Lens carry, so we need another lens. Okay. Alright. So we need to find a lens. Okay. Yeah, this is some Lara Croft esque stuff, you know. Ah, Tomb Raider. Do you know, it was one of the first games I ever played as a kid. We may have to do some Tomb Raider at some point on this uh, on this channel. For the lols. And for the nostalgia. Because I believe they've kind of re released all the old. Um, All the old Tomb Raiders. Is that a lens? That is a lens, but we can't do anything with it yet. Okay. Anything else? Anything in here? Ooh. What's this? Children of a Dark Sun. Lanyap. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'll keep my poker for now. Just because... I don't know. It seems it seems a little bit more easy to wrangle than a than a pickaxe is. Okay. Okay. So we can. Okay. Oh. Does this does this kill these things? Can we kill them? We can't? What? Ah. That's annoying. So, can we do... No. Does that need to go to that, do you suppose? Maybe. Or does it need to go up there? Was it up there originally? No, I don't think so. Yes, I think it was up there originally, wasn't it? Okay. It worked. What did we do? Oh, was it that one we hit? Yes, it was. Okay. All right, let's let's come back out there. Get out, you wee beastie! Oh, get off! You foul beast! Can I just shoot it? Where is it? Oh, stop darting about! Screw it. Come on, Eddie. 
Get out. You filth. Good God. Have a drink. All right. Okay. Good God. Oh, and this is where we originally came in. So can we now take this... Is there a lens up here? Ah, I think we can take this lens. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What's this? What's this? What's this? Always got to check everything, you know. Find the layups. Find the spare stuff. So we need... We need a lens for it. But we don't have a lens. Let's get you out here, shall we? Oh! All right, we need to run, Eddie. We need to run. We need to run, dude. We need to run. All right. Well, it wasn't brilliant, but it wasn't the worst I've ever done. Let's just make sure we're fully can we reload this. Yes, we can. We have the bullets. All right. Well. All right. Let's 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 get down here. Switch to the pistol for now. Is there anything in here that we can use? Any bullets? I do need bullets, really. Quite a lot, if possible. Can we go in there? Can we bust it? Nope. Alright. Oh, this is lovely. Okay. Anything here? Oh! An ads? An ads? Adzi? I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay. That'll do us. Look at that thing. Bloody hell. So, how do we get this open, I wonder? Oh, there's loads of them. Alright, I don't think we're supposed to go down there, so that's fine. Ah, can we bust this open now with this? Yes, we can. That was kind of loud. Good God. Alright. Anything in there? No. What about this? This is a lever. Lens. Uh, oh. Oops. There we go. No, nothing else. Okay, so what does this do? Does this turn on the light? Why are we creeping, Eddie? Ah, yes. Here we go. suppose. And uh, can we cross through this? Oh yeah, we can. We're alright. We're fine. It's all fine. Ah, there you go. Beautiful. Alright, so now we need this to open. This, maybe? Ah, hold on. Does it need to hit that? Oh yes, it does. Alright, can we just pick up another one? No. Another lens. The Underworld. Key item. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a hi telling hieroglyphic. Yes. Alright, so, okay. Thank you very much. Um, ah, that goes here. Huh. Okay, so then... That one's already open. That one we can't open. Setting all the bloody curtains ablaze. Is there one there that we can hit? Nope. Ah, does that power that? Eddie? Good God. There? No? 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 Ah, is it that? There you go. Something else going to obviously try and do us in, which is going to be lovely, I'm sure. Weapons at the ready. Oh God, Eddie, Jesus! I didn't mean to do that. Just, just to be ready. Yeah, this looks dodge, hella dodge. Dodge as anything. What's this? More of these. Okay. Well, we don't need one yet. 
anything in there? No. Well, I think we need to get in there by the looks of it. And this... Can we bash this? Is this bashable? Ah, and that allows us to go back out. Brilliant. Okay. So, Eddie. That's the boy. So we need to turn on the light, I imagine. Oh yeah, we turned on the light. Oh, okay, okay. And another lens. The star. Same thing. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Is it this end? Yes, it is. Here we go. Hmm. The star. There you go. Brilliant. Okay, Eddie. Oh, get off me! Get off! 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 Horrible little thing, Eddie. For God's sake, will you run, man? Move! Oh my God! What a fool! Then direct this one. Think. I wonder something, I just wonder. Just out of sheer... No, never mind. Never mind. It's just, just curiosity. That's all. Okay. So now do we need to direct this down onto the... Um, the big gem in the floor. We'll get there in the end. I know it's taken a while, folks, but there's a lot of back and forth. And Eddie doesn't run particularly fast, because apparently his cardio is the same as an asthmatic pit pony. Mm. Sip of my tea. All right, so. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Can we run? Alright. Okay, can't go that way. This way? Nope, can't go this way. This way. This Good is God. ready to collapse. Yes, I know. We are running. If you would stop being such a blooming asthmatic pit pony and run for your life. Yeah, what is going on? Okay. What? Some kind of dagger? Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? Oh, God. They're like flying beetles. What? Okay. Chapter f Where are we now? Hey. Hey, detective? <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? 
God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. It's around your neck? Dopey. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I worry, detectives. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> what? The Dark Man's Contract. Let's have a look then. Oh. Um, acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behaviour. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dacetto. Let this case of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Huh. Well. All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, what's 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 here? Can we? Is there anything good for us? Can we not go in the attic again and have a little look round, or are we not allowed? Not allowed. Ugh. Sounds like a miserable evening. Okay. Let's roam on down. Good grief. Just what this evening needed. Some ambiance. Um. Okay, well let's just let's just do a little refresh. Oh, okay. Uh Combe never thought he'd be so happy to be back at Dacetto. It felt like he had crawled through a long, dark tunnel of misery and regret. Now that he was back, Combe could look into the steps mentioned in the contract. But there was one thing that gnawed on him. What exactly did this have to do with Dr. Gray? Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to Dr. Gray's office. Um, so where is Dr. Gray's office? Let's have a look. Uh, so we're, I think we're on the second floor. I think we're on the first. Dr. Gray's office there. That's where we need to go. So we need to go down through the grand parlor. Ah, could we open this door, do you suppose, from this side? Maybe. Maybe we could. All right. Let's uh, let's go down another level, across the grand parlour, and see if we can unlock that door. Because if we could, that would be handy. <gasps> oh, got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that detective fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Or oh, you know, not good. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need to know about all that. Just, Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Good. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Now that is curious, isn't it? What's their deal? What's that about? The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. 
Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at the Seto, and Combe wasn't sure who he could trust. Mm. Very curious, indeed. Okay, I think if we go through here... Oh, the dining room looks kind of different. Are we... can we... Ah, I'm guessing we can't get through that door. Maybe. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We can just we can just go. All right. So we. we what? Christ! What the hell was that? What? Is it in here? Okay, so okay, so we can't go in there anymore. That's that's fine. I don't really wish to, to be quite honest. After that racket, it's blocked. Blocked. Hmm. I don't like it. Do we maybe have to go across the upstairs? Do you suppose? Maybe. I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. No. Okay. I'm not sure I can trust them. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to snoop around his office then. Mm. I thought we could get up this way, but apparently not. Okay. So, what? So. It's blocked. Can't go through there either. This is just a room to nowhere. Um, can we go in the library? I don't think there's a way across there, though. Do we have to go through the kitchen? Maybe. What's this? Preparations for St. John's. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. Because that ain't sus, is it? That ain't sus as hell. Okay, what's going on? I'm here indoors. There's a lot going on here. Come on now. So, I can't go out that way. Can I go in the library? Alright. Spooky. No need for that. What's this? Lunacy and the Astarte Artists Colony. Okay. Lunacy and the Astarte Artists Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Panchartrin. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. 
It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history. Hmm. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Dorseto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigrath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Unausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Hmm. Very curious. Very curious indeed. All right, chill out. Bloody hell. So is this like a hurricane, do you suppose? that's blowing around outside and we're going to get caught up in it. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to... Oh, hello. What's this? Opera Playbill. A lanyap. Okay. Brilliant. Is there anything... Do we need to go through here? Hmm. Well. Oh, I don't know how I feel about being out here when there's a when there's a bloody storm raging outside. Can we? Hmm. I think. Where are we now? We're in the garden. I think if we have to go across the garden. Through here, and then I think we can go up, can't we? Or is that blocked off as well now? And do we have to go? No, we can't go through the garage either. No, not the garage. Sorry, the kitchen garden. This is bizarre. Alright, maybe we have to go out. Is that tree whispering a little louder than normal? What? What is that? What? 
I need this to matter? What? Oh, this is weird. All right. Ooh. How bizarre. All right, let's 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 go out here. Okay. Is there anything else out here? No. Okay. Can we go in this way? No, we don't have the key, God bless it. So... Can we go up the ladder? What is the door blocked by? Really? Oh. What? I don't like this, man. Get me inside. Good grief. Oh. All right. Well, we've made it back to the safety of the the main area. Good grief. But do you know what, folks? I think we will leave it there for today. Eddie is looking a little careworn. And um, what an episode it's been. My goodness. From tomb raiding to now battling our way through some kind of thunderstorm. And what are the orderlies up to? Very, very strange. Very strange. But until next time, be safe. Be good. Do look after.